Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you 11, that's right, 11 different ways to open Device Manager. Now, as you know, Device Manager lets you see all your Windows hardware and properties. Obviously, you're here, so you want to open it. So here's the thing. Maybe you don't know how to open it. Maybe you'd like to find a new way to open it. Maybe you'd like to find your favorite way to open it. Maybe you can't open it at all. Let's do this. It's going to take a few minutes. Let's take the Windows Key Plus X, Windows 10. This is going to take two birds with one stone, as they say, Windows Key Plus X. As you can see, there's Device Manager. But you'll notice anytime you see, you see the letter that's underlined, that means I can press M. Press M. And there's your Device Manager. And of course, obviously, you could just click Device Manager. Two down, nine to go. Math. It's my strong suit. Open Device Manager with Search. You might have your search here. If not, you can press your Windows key plus S. And you want to type in Device Manager. D-E-V-I-C-E. -E. And there you go. There goes three. Number four. This is the old control panel. You can do this on Windows 10, or you could actually do this in Windows 7 if you are doing start control panel. So let's open the classic control panel. There you go. And you do that by searching for control panel and then clicking on it. And once you're here, make sure you have large icons or small icons. Category view will take you a little bit of digging around to find it. So switch that if you don't already. Let's do small icons. There it is right there. Boom. Where are we at? Number four. Let's go to five. System control panel. This one's kind of neat. Windows key plus the pause break key. A lot of times it's the same key, pause and break. So press your Windows key plus pause break. And there's your device manager. Boom. Nice, right? All right, number six. How about the run dialog? Now, as we go from step six and seven, eight and nine, and 10 and 11, you're going to want to keep these in mind. If you, if you if they don't interest you, then move on. But for example, HD Wiz W hdwwiz.cpl is easier to remember. So we're going to highlight this and we're going to do the Windows key plus R. Just control V. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Let's try it again for step number seven. Windows key plus R. There you go. So just copy and paste either one of these two into the run dialog, we would call it. And there you go. It automatically opens up. 8 and 9, Command Prompt and PowerShell. Doesn't matter which one you want to use. Doesn't matter which one of these two you want to type in. We'll start with the more difficult one to remember. And we'll do the Command Prompt. You do not have to run as admin. Oh, stop it. CMD. Which you could do here, but you don't have to. Control V. And then you can close the Command Prompt behind you. Let's do the other one. We're going to do this one in PowerShell. Windows key plus X. PowerShell. Control V. What? There you go. So once again, as I mentioned, remember these two for all these steps because we're going to finish out with those two on the harder way to open it up unless you wanted to create a shortcut somewhere with it, which is an option for you. So we want to open File Explorer and we want to go to Windows System 32. And now we got to dig around and find. Let's see how long this will take. DEV. Come on, hang in there with me. It's worth it, I think. DEV. There it is right there. Ready? Just double click it. Now, the other one, as I mentioned, easier to remember, HD Wiz. Well, there's a lot of D's in there, man. Oh, God, a lot of F's, too. What am I going to? H? Yeah. Yeah, HD Wiz. Yeah. HD Wiz. Let's find it. Right there. Now, notice HD W Wiz is an application. You're not looking for that. You're looking for the control panel items. So don't click that one. That will actually start the add hardware wizard. Remember that? You want the .cpl as mentioned here. So once you double click that, 
There you go. Now, you could also right click on either one of those. You could copy it. You could create a shortcut. And that would allow you to pin it in different places like the taskbar, stuff like that, depending on what your needs are. So there you go. There are 11. I don't know why. 11 ways to open device manager. One of them's got to work for you. So give that a shot. Let us know how it worked out for you. Thanks for watching, as always. See ya.